Alright, so we have a couple of different sleds here to choose from and they have a couple of different benefits um, to each of them. So this is our dog sled. They have these cool holes that come out so that we can switch sides. They also, I mean to start with, have holes that come up that we can push, right? Um, so this guy weighs 87 pounds all in and it's the one that gets the most play mostly because it sits up front of the gym. It's kind of like our front gargoyle. Um, we've got our little bitty one over here. This one is exclusively for pulling. Um, we can pull this with our backpack attachment, our harness attachment, our rope attachment. It's very often the one that we're going to use when we're using it inside. It is much, much lighter. So we've got three different variations in terms of the way that we can pull. We've got our rope, and that's going to be pulling it back and in. We've got our straps, that can be a backpack. It can also be a pulling back and we have our harness straps. So that's gonna go on as a harness, it's gonna clip in front if you like it that way, and we're gonna be pulling it very similarly to a backpack strap, but it's a lot more comfortable. So we've got our dog sled, I'm just gonna keep calling this the little guy, and we have our three different ways to pull them. All right, so the little bitty sled is kind of hidden. Our big dog sled lives out in front of the gym, of course, um, but our little bitty one lives under here, and we've got our J-hooks, our heavy dumbbells, and then down here is, I guess, all of the really important equipment that we just hide from y'all. Um, so it's gonna be right next to our Nordic curl machine and our belt squat belt. So right down and under here. 